Back on Inside Tennessee with Representative Sam McKenzie, one of 24 Democrats in a House with 75 Republicans. So what other issues besides vouchers do you think will dominate the upcoming session in January? Well, as, as Susan said, as far as gun control, the, 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 these red flag laws, it sounds like a negative thing, but we're, we're going to have to do something. When you look at the, the, the Waffle House shooter there in Nashville and um, uh, that, that gentleman, uh, his mother is running for a seat there. She, she won in the Democratic primary. Those issues are going to really bubble up and say, we have to do something. One about the mentally ill, and that, that's one aspect. But if someone's in a crisis, that, that's going to be one piece. And women's right to, to control their body to an extent. <laughs> and I think that's where it will stay at in Tennessee. It will never be a fool. Uh, but th th those are going to be two other issues that I think are going to be critical. And the fact that our revenue last year was down. And so I think that bubble is starting to burst as far as these excesses. So we're going to have to figure out where we're going to tighten our belt, but also where we're going to invest. Go ahead, Sam. Yeah, well, I was just going to ask on, on this abortion issue. We've We've probably settled it in Republicans' minds. In your mind, do we? Is it strong enough to allow for rape, incest, abortions in Tennessee? Not in Tennessee. Not not yet. Not it's enough. really only dealing with those those one-off kind of kind of pregnancies that really put you know up, up, the baby's not going to survive and the mother might uh, probably won't. But nothing for rape and incest, and really nothing strong for the mother's health as well. And do you see that? Yeah. Where do you back see up? the incremental change yeah. happening? Because you know, as you said, and I, 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 with with a couple of those moderate Republicans losing, I think it's gonna it's, it's gonna be incumbent on folks to to, to change the mix of it. Uh, there are several. Republicans that are sitting on the edge and have to hold their nose to vote for these really extreme uh, abortion bills. So that that has to change. There, there, there's hope, is what I'll say. And now we have 30 seconds, Representative McKenzie. What bill do you personally want to bring to the floor next session? I really want to help our uh, folks who've committed crimes serve their time, but now they're coming out. Tennessee's the only state where they can't vote until they pay off all their court costs, which in most cases for men is child support. And what that does is create that wedge between the mother and the father, creating a payment plan where the mother's starting to get income, but then allowing that person a provisional right to vote. I think it's strong. It puts them back into being an American citizen. You know, being a parent is a huge responsibility, but voting is a right. And once you pay your debt to society and you're in a process of paying, reestablishing that relationship, you should get that right to vote. Well, Representative McKenzie, we appreciate your time, as always. Thank you. Thanks very much. We'll be back with our talk round. Don and Susan with more on that next.